welcome back to my channel in this tutorial we are going to learn how to install and configure apache web server on ubuntu 24.04 lts by following ubuntu's official documentation so let's get started at first open your favorite web browser and browse this url Apache is an open source web server that's available for Linux servers free of charge. In this tutorial, we will be going through the steps of setting up an Apache web server. Okay, at first I'm going to install Apache web server. To install Apache, install the latest meta package Apache 2 by running the following commands at first update your system using this command so open a new terminal and write this command hit enter now enter the password for the user after updating the system write this command on terminal sudo apt install apache2 and hit enter now type y to continue installation and then hit enter it may take a while for installing apache web server this is the site default configuration enabled automatically Let's verify the installation. Open a new tab and write localhost. That's it. Apache web server installed successfully. This is the default page. After letting the command run, all required packages are installed and we can test it out by typing in our IP address for the web server like this localhost. Okay. If you see the page above, it means the Apache has been successfully installed on your servers. Let's move on. By default, Apache comes with a basic site enabled. We can modify its content in this directory or settings by editing its virtual host file found in this directory. This is the default site configuration file. Okay. Now I'm going to run my own HTML page on this web server so I'm going to create a new HTML page into the default host directory I'm going to name it okay now i'm going to save this file and open a new tab and write this is the default html page and this is my own page okay by default apache comes with a basic site enabled we can modify its content in this directory or settings by editing its virtual host file found this location this is the default site configuration file 
we can modify how apache handles incoming requests and have multiple sites running on the same server by editing its virtual host file we are going to leave the default apache virtual host configuration pointing to this domain Okay, this is the default site configuration. This is the document root. Okay, now set up our own at gci.example.com. So let's start by creating a folder for our new website in this directory by running this command. Now navigate to this directory. This is our newly created directory. Okay, we have it named GCI here, but any name will work as long as we point to it in the virtual host configuration file later. Now that we have a directory created for our site, let's have an HTML file in it. Let's go into our newly created directory and create one by typing this command. I am going to create a new file index.html into GCI directory. Okay. Save this file, press Ctrl plus X and then press Shift plus Y, then hit enter. We should use sudo privilege before this command. Now save the file. Okay. Now let's create a virtual host file so it will show up when we type in gci.example.com on the address bar of your web browser so set up the virtual host configuration file we start this step by doing we start this step by going into the configuration files directory so navigate to this directory open a new terminal and navigate to this directory this is the default site configuration file i'm going to copy this file since apache cam with a default virtual host file let's use that as a base so use this command To copy this default configuration site this new configuration file so hit enter now enter the password here you will see a new configuration file GCI okay now edit the configuration file using this command sudo nano gci dot configuration okay we should have our email in server admin so users can reach you in case apache experiences any error so here write the email address okay
comment out the server name is gci okay and also change example dot com okay we also want the document root directive to point to the directory our site files are hosted on so change the document root for gci site configuration file to access gci okay the default file doesn't come with a server name directive so we will have to add and define it by adding this line below the last directive already i have defined this okay this ensures people reach the right site instead of the default one when they type in gci.example.com so save this file we are unable to access the new html page we should do some configuration and activation now that we are done configuring our site let's save and activate it in the next step after setting up our website we need to activate the virtual host configuration file to enable it we do that by running the following command in the configuration file directory write this command to enable gci site configuration enabled now restart the apache web server to apply the changes okay now reload you should disable the default site configuration file now restart the apache web server and reload and that's it now i'm going to access the site using the server name so open a new tab and go back to terminal and open gci site configuration file and here this is the server name copy this and paste here now we are not able to access the site using this server name we must set up uh, things in host configuration file open this file with any text editor and here write the IP address and the server name this name my case now save this file okay now reload the apache web server and also reload remove the https that's it now we are able to access the site using server name that's it 
if you are uh, new to this channel subscribe this channel and like comment share thank you so much for watching this tutorial